Okay, listen, let's be honest here. YouTube subscribers are very hard to grow. And there's a reason why unsubscribe, subscribe, doesn't exist. We all want to be a YouTuber. We all want to be an influencer. It pays the bills well and it's actually quite fun. But nowhere in this video I'm going to make it sound easy or overnight. If that was your intention, you can click off this video. This is for people who are seriously building brands and want to influence actual people. Don't worry. It's not going to be scary. It's going to be step by step. And you can tell your mom that you quit your job for YouTube. And I'm not a schemey person to say post consistent content, but we're gonna make a legitimate plan for you. And I hope this is helpful. All you gotta do, if you wanna know how to grow your YouTube channel, starting really small, keep on watching. Uh, I give them love and they run away. Fly to Paris, don't wanna see. All right, good night guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. I love you so much. Make sure your channel you're subscribed. Oh, only at 100 subscribers. It's okay, tomorrow's gonna be better. Oh my god, we just reached a million subscribers. Thank you so much. It means so much. Oh my god. Oh, come on. What's up, Darmination? Nation? Welcome to today's video. You guys know that I'm not about the BS life, so we're gonna jump into the video. Just wanna say congrats to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, I want to know how long you've been doing YouTube. If you have a channel, what is the biggest roadblock you faced? What's your biggest problem? Just comment below so I can help you guys out. So when starting your channel from zero, from scratch, it's really important to just be real with yourself because the one of the things you don't have to leverage off of getting subscribers, whatever you want to grow your audience is you don't have social proof. So you're going to be missing a huge aspect of like the elements of trust, right? Because when some subs <laughs> when someone subscribes to you, they trust you with all their clicking abilities. So it's super important to understand that you're gonna be missing a huge pillar uh, just because you're starting from zero. It doesn't mean you're qualified, it just means like we have to replace it with something really strong. So whether you're a music artist that's trying to grow your fan base, whether you are a content creator doing photography, trying to grow some more clients, and maybe you're just doing YouTube for fun as a vlogger and you just wanna make some money with YouTube AdSense. Like, these are all valid reasons, but it comes down to four things. I want you to sit in your chair, grab a snack, do whatever it takes for you to pay attention because I want to know when you think about YouTube subscribers or growing a channel do you think about growing views and subscribers first or do you think about your watch time and your audience retainment probably well, listen here guys uh, your traffic sources or your watch time is so much more important because that will tell YouTube whether to push your video or not and what I mean push is you just want to be friends with the YouTube algorithm which decides whether to recommend your video or to put it on you know trending and all that that's how you get in front of the audience you want to reach so you need to focus on those two things and stop setting goals that are not obtainable for example 100,000 subscribers like if you're starting from scratch focus on what actually works which is watch time focus on your traffic sources, and we're gonna help you increase those two things. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and hit the red subscribe button. It's gonna truly mean the world to me and I just really appreciate it. You can join the best fam squad on earth if you do so. Oh, and did I say I post videos here every single day? So like, get your free and just subscribe. So I am not a film writer, I'm not a producer, but I have learned a few things that revolve around Hollywood and production, you know, over a few friends that are in the industry. And it just makes sense, guys. If you're going into creating a piece of content, it needs to be good. Um, I don't think you understand when you're starting from zero, you're depending on either talent and or hard. 